Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and to the great outdoors. It is so windy right now, I can yell like that. And that white-tailed deer that's sitting down there, he's not even bothered. That deer right there is a cull buck, 100%. He's a four-point, three-year-old, uh, one of those bucks that somebody needs to get. But I'm saving my last cull buck for my pops, LFD, that's right. He's gonna join me tomorrow here at the lease. Um, it's gonna be a special video. I'm hoping it works out. He's, he's never shot a deer ever. He's given me tons of opportunities in the outdoors to go uh, hunting. He took me as a, as a kid. Big shout out to pops already. I'm, ooh, I'm hoping it works out for dad. Uh, we've already done a lot of work here at the lease, setting up some, some new tree stands that look awesome. We actually discovered a new uh, feeder we didn't even know that was there, a new part of the property we didn't even know was there. And we are going to be using that scope that I showed you guys in the last video. Uh, I've recalibrated that thing. It is dead on at 100 right now. Uh, there's a lot of gadgets and doodads with it, but I'm just starting simple and I'm gonna be sitting in a stand tonight I've never sat at before, but it looks like there's a lot of activity on the ground. The dirt is just trashed up I've already put out some sauce. So we got some syrupy goodness back here. It's some molasses stuff right here this uh, drip scent hog sauce It's got like a molasses thing going on with it and why we're sitting here. Uh, I wanted to go through some comments I've been reading them this morning and this is why I asked you guys to name this thing, because I knew you would come up with some awesome names. And I just want to read some of them to you, like Ken Bray said, the buck truck. Come on, man. The buck truck, that is awesome. I love that name. Mark James says, the elk Camino. Beautiful, creative name. I still haven't got myself an elk, so I don't know if I'll be able to, to name it that. It's looking like everyone's loving the meat wagon. That just kind of came out. It was good. I don't know, sometimes, you know, when you spit things out, it works, it sticks. Buck Buster, another honorable mention by Derek Shields. The Meat Mule, Mondo Hauler, Meat Machine, Meat Hauler, The Hearst. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, The Hearst. It makes sense, but it's a little dark. Mike Reeves, Mike Reeves. Thank you for that one. LFT, the Lake Fork Truck, Meat Collector, along with the Crispy Collector. Yeah, that makes sense. William Davis, good. <laughs> the Undertaker. I love it. You guys are awesome. Uh, but it looks like the, the the meat wagon is just making sense. Everybody's loving that name too. So I think we'll stick with the meat wagon because it is multi-purpose. I love buck truck. If I ever have another ATV in my life that is just straight on some sort of deer lease or something, it's going to be called the buck truck. But meat wagon's making sense. And in fact, it did haul off a pig last night. So we've, we've had some bucks and hogs in the back of this thing. And I do love how spacious it is. There's actually a uh, tripod stand that I need to move uh, over the next couple days. And this is gonna be awesome uh, for moving that thing around. But hopefully it's gonna get a hog in it tonight, y'all. So we're gonna be sitting uh, in a blind, you know, typical Texas deal. We've got, you know, there's like a feeder 80 yards away. Um, but the hogs have been just destroying it and uh, no one's even seen deer around there. But I've been kind of lucky seeing a lot of bucks. I gotta say, out of most everyone that's sat out here, even, even though I've switched around stands, it's like I've been seeing a, a, a lot of bucks. So um, hopefully uh, we will see some hoglets tonight. And we're gonna be putting the old 6.8 to use with that scope on there and recording it so you guys uh, can see the action through the scope. And it is dialed in now, so we should be on. Meat wagon, engage. First time I ever came out here, y'all, we found a 10 point buck in this pond and I've yet to fish it too. And we got some warmer weather coming, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Looks really good. It's got some pond weed on the edge. Looks good for bass. Hopefully we'll get it done in the daytime, but we also got that infrared, so if we need to stay a little bit longer, if the pigs are coming out right in dark, we're going to get it all on the scope cam. Man. Oh, we need more chicken. Okay, y'all, we're here on the fence line, and there's a, there's a box blind right up there, and then we're going to uh, be hunting a feeder that's 
cut into the woods. And these, these hogs have been in this really, really thick cedar stuff. And uh, we haven't had any cameras on this one, but just looking at the ground, it looks pretty dirty. So we're gonna walk up there slow. There might already be some deer or some hogs out there. So we're gonna sneak up, just throw the pack on, and uh, just be sneaky about it. So it's pretty much prime time now. It could happen anytime. Too dark. Piggy, piggy. Come on.
raise this window up just in case. SPC. That's my gun. I got four hogs specifically, um, and you know some other marmots and stuff. It's a good. It's a good round. It's really cool that you guys were able to see that through the scope, and uh, it's pretty awesome. So let's go get our pig. We got bacon. We got ourselves a piggy. We got that spotted pig. <sighs> what a cool looking pig, man. Oh yeah. Nice little female, nice little sow. This one's gonna be delish. Man, guys, got her right on the shoulder. Really good shot.
right, y'all, this is my first spotted pig. What a cool pig, man. You know, the rest of them were black. I think it's rare to, to find these because they do stand out. I think I'm gonna skin this whole. Uh, I just texted my buddy Cosmos Q. Cosmo comes down for Guggen filming a lot and we do a lot of videos with him. And I was talking to him, I was like, man, if I, if I get a pig this year, I'm gonna call you because he has these giant smokers. And I think it'd be really cool to uh, smoke a wild pig with him because he is an absolute expert and he would make it taste uh, delicious. So this is a good eater size, probably about 50 pounds. And uh, you know, it should be good. I, I was gonna shoot that boar and then I got to thinking, eh, it might not taste as, as succulent as one of these little ones, these 30 to 50 pounders, are really tasty. So we have some really cold nights out here. Uh, I think I'm, what I'm gonna do, pull the skin off and literally just hang it and let the meat age, um, probably in the outside air. And then we've got a refrigerator I could put it on uh, if I need to leave it a little longer, but just a really cool pig, man. You guys saw the last video I did where I was testing this thing out and kind of playing around with it, seeing if it's if it's worth it. The calculating the ballistics and all that stuff, the, the verdict's still out on that, but uh, I think the video quality is actually pretty good. And on a nice clear night like tonight, when I was testing it, it was really foggy, drizzly, could not see nearly as far. Um, as I say that, there's coyotes howling in the background. I might have to give it a little peek with the, we've got the infrared flashlight on here so you can see a pretty good ways with it. But uh, I, I like it, y'all. I think it works pretty well with this setup. Um, being out here on the lease, having so many pigs and uh, a lot of predators as well. Um, I could just pop this on here and uh, use it at, at nighttime. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, another awesome harvest here at the lease and also stay tuned for LFD. He's on his way out uh, and hopefully we're gonna get him on a really good deer. Did some, just some scouting this morning and it looks really good. So um, personally, that's gonna be probably one of my favorite videos I've filmed on this channel and I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. So thank you guys for tuning in for every single episode in the outdoor greatness. And I hope you're having a great time in the outdoors wherever you are. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Bacon, bacon. <laughs>